Alright, so I'm making this video to show off my setup for compiling LaTeX documents. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, uh, I've just become that guy who won't shut up about his setup in front of, you know, all my colleagues. So I think it's about time for me to get it off my chest and, you know, we just, you know, just not, never think about it again. Uh, so I don't have the best setup in the universe, but uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with what I got. So let me just go ahead and show you uh, what we're dealing with. Um, so this is my main LaTeX folder, and I have templates in here. So I have a, an article template, I have a Beamer template, I have a handout template. Um, and what I can do, I'm in Ranger, my file manager, and what I can do is say, um, uh, there, I have a shortcut NA, and that stands for new article, and I can name a new article, let's call it new.tex. And what that does is it just copies my article template to this new file. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let me maximize that. Um, so here we are in this document. So you'll notice that I've called all the packages I usually need. Um, and in all the places I'm going to write, like the title area, abstract area, uh, main text area, I have these um, you know, brackets inside of parentheses. So every time I press space twice, uh, it, the cursor will, will move to the next one delete it and put me in insert mode. So I can say like article title, uh, press space space again. Uh, so this is an abstract, um, space space again. Uh, here is the main text. So I don't really have to think, I don't have to key out of everything. I can just, you know, let it be. So some people have their documents auto compile. I have compiling linked to a shortcut. Uh, so now the document's compiled, it's in the same folder. I have another shortcut that'll open that up, so here's our document. Uh, let's let's throw some, like, um, blind text in there, um, just, you know, to make it look like we're actually doing something. So here here's a, our document. So I work in linguistics, uh, and I have a bunch of macros set up for doing different linguistics things. Uh, for example, let's say you might want to make an example sentence to illustrate something. So uh, I just type in my macro, this is an example uh, sentence, uh, and it already makes the syntax, and when I'm done, space, space, get in the main text area again. We can real compile it, and you'll see I will have my example sentence. Uh, another thing that's usually pretty hard to do if you're using, you know, uh, Word or something, well, it's impossible to do if you're doing Word functionally, uh, and it's pretty difficult in LaTeX is... Um, uh, getting the syntax right for uh, glossing examples, but I have macros set up that'll give me exactly what I need. So this is like a, a multilingual gloss. So let's say, hoc est exemplum latinum. Uh, there's the example sentence. This is example Latin. There's our word-to-word -word gloss. This is a Latin example. Um, blah 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 here's the main text we, we can real compile this and you will see that uh, we have our example sentence right here all three line glossed perfectly everything's lined up don't have to worry about it um, so I have that all shortcutted up I also have more conventional things like um, you know I want some you know bold text or emphatic text you know no prob so I can do, you know, these the basic uh, formatting things pretty easily. Or let's say I want to make, um, I don't know, let's say I want to make some kind of uh, environment I have with double cursors. I can do things like this. Uh, oops. Center. Uh, so now we have this is centered text, etc., etc., blah, 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 blah. Um, here we are again. Uh, and you'll also notice at the very end of this document I have a certain bibliography file called, and this is the bibliography file I keep all my sources in, so I can actually refer to them in real time whenever I want. So, see, uh, I don't know uh, who we're gonna cite, let's say Chomsky uh, 2005 or you know, Chinque 99 for more. Um, and this automatically gives me these references. You'll see that, oops, wrong one. Uh, you'll see that everything. You just get it for free. You don't have to work on it. So to show you my bibliography file, uh, I got everything I've ever cited in LaTeX, some, you know, 1,300 lines of them. Uh, and I have them all sorted by the first uh, author and the two digits of the year. 
so I can really that's all I have to remember to cite anything it's pretty easy to pound out a paper just like remembering things like this so um, it's it's really efficient um, so anyway let me show you my vimrc just to give you an idea what it looks like um, so I have all of these different LaTeX shortcuts for you know emphasis bolding italics citations glossing lists tabular environments all this different stuff um, and uh, so I don't really end up writing much of the syntax in any of my LaTeX documents I also have shortcuts for like math mode uh, for if I need to make some IPA symbols it's pretty easy I have shortcuts for those and all the shortcuts work pretty much the same way when I'm in insert mode I just press semicolon and then R that'll give me reference or semicolon T that'll give me a tabular environment um, and that works because you never really put you know letters after you know uh, a semicolon so let's say we want a tabular environment you know it doesn't have to look fancy some kind of table um, and yeah I don't really have to uh, do any kind of thinking to do the syntax and when I'm done just double space out this is the main text so yeah it's it's like you know you get it all for free um, so you will notice it is doing a bunch of compiling that's sort of a pain um, I might get rid of that I might actually have it compile in the background the reason it's taking so long is because it's actually doing all the bib text stuff at the same time um, so I might change that around a little bit and I will say I also have HTML shortcuts so when I'm in an HTML file um, I'll have different things you know I'll have a uh, shortcut for bolding and all that stuff so I don't have to write that either and I even have shortcuts for adding um, bib tech entries uh, so anyway that's that's a you know my general setup um, video lasted a little longer than I want but anyway that gives you an idea so thanks for watching